sure to check out Ageless Geeks for your figures and collectibles. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 19 here and today in this video we will be doing another quick look review and this time it's going to be of the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series Kid Fisto. So let's get into it right away and take a very quick look at the box. Alright so as you can see here we do of course get the basic style box when it comes to Hasbro's Black Series line. So we do get the wonder right there on the tops of Star Wars the Black Series an image of the character on the bottom says Kid Fisto warning blah blah blah. Hasbro, there's the bottom, there's the top, the one side, the other side, figure 112, and then the back there does have a little bio, so if you'd like to read that, you could pause it quickly and give it a read. But anyway, that is the packaging, so let's get this figure open and see what accessories he is included with, and I believe it's just his lightsaber and the hilt there. Alright, so the only accessory included with Kit Fisto here is his hilt with the lightsaber blade, and mine's a little warped, as you can see there, so that... Is a bit disappointing. It was like that uh, out of the packaging. Oh, I actually fixed it. No, nope, still a little warped. But we do get a nice uh, green translucent plastic for the lightsaber blade. And then the hilt itself looks pretty good too. Paint's uh, pretty clean on it for the red and the black there where it meets the silver. And you can unpeg the blade so you just have the uh, lightsaber hilt there. And I don't think you could peg it onto... Uh, his belt or anything there's no peg on it and he does grip onto it fine i do wish that whoever does the hasbro black series line at hasbro can you guys include alternate hands more often would definitely be cool if we got alternate hands with these damn star wars figures we never get alternate hands with them i don't understand that i don't think any characters have ever had alternate hands maybe han solo i think han solo did but they rarely ever do it so would definitely love to see alternate hands more often with these Hasbro Star Wars Black Series figures. So that is the only accessory included with Kit Fisto. Now let's take a closer detailed look at this figure. Alrighty, so taking a closer detailed look at Kit Fisto here. And Hasbro did a pretty kick-ass job with this figure, man. I mean, it's a $20 figure, so the, the paint and sculpt detail definitely turned out pretty awesome. The head sculpt, definitely the, the coolest aspect to the figure. Kid Fisto just has a really cool alien look to him. My only main issue with the detail on this is they went a little heavy with that wash or the shading on this tentacle right here. As you can see, it should look more like this one. But I, I do like that they added that wash or shading on uh, the, the tentacles and the face sculpt. Looks good on the face sculpt and the rest of the tentacles. That one, they just went a little too heavy with it. But I think the green looks pretty good. It, it could be a little more green to me, but uh, the, the, the blue specks look pretty cool. And the tentacles are a soft, rubbery type plastic. The ones on the back, the three on the top are a harder plastic, but the ones on the bottom are like this one here. They're a very soft, rubbery plastic. So these three might restrict the uh, the, the head or neck articulation a little bit. But uh, the face sculpt looks great. We get a few sculpted wrinkles where the eyebrows would be above the eyes. I like the glossy black for the eyes. And then we do get that like peachish type color around the eyes, which looks really good. So nice job on uh, the face sculpt. And then the tentacles look great too. We do get those uh, brown bands around them as well. I mean, aliens with dreadlocks are, are pretty damn awesome, man. I mean, look at Predators, so... High five! Kid Fisto definitely is a pretty cool looking character. And then his torso here, he does have the basic Jedi attire here with the vest and everything. And I believe this is a reuse of one of the other Jedi figures. I'm not entirely sure which one, but I love the sculpted texture to the vest. That looks good great man all the sculpted wrinkles and everything then we do get the whitish grayish shirt underneath which has a little bit of shading to it doesn't look like the brown vest has any shading to it but like i said man the the, the sculpted texture to it looks really cool same with on the arms we had a few sculpted wrinkles on there the back looks pretty good too then we do get his jedi belt here and there is a peg hole there but his lightsaber doesn't technically have a peg on it i guess you could try to use this one it can fit in there but it's not meant to be. It's not going to stay in there securely enough. But you can holster it if you really did want to. And the paint's pretty clean for the brown and the silver on the belt there. And then the lower portion of the robe is a softer rubbery type plastic. And the hands look pretty good too. It does have that peach type color wash all throughout both of them as well. And then the pants here get some nice sculpted wrinkles all throughout it as you can see there. And then the boots 
do have like a glossy look to it. Some parts aren't as glossy like around here and then my right foot isn't as glossy as the left one so that's a little odd but great sculpted wrinkles all throughout it, a bunch of straps and everything and then the feet look fine too and then the bottom get a couple peg holes. So overall man for this being a $20 figure I think Hasbro did a pretty damn good job with the detail on it. My only complaint like I said was too much of that uh, peach color or rust type color whatever color that is. Too much shading on that one tentacle there, but now let's move on to the height and the height comparisons. So now for Kit Fisto's height to the very top of his alien dreadlocks, it looks like he stands around 6 inches tall. Now let's see him compared to a few other Star Wars figures. Some other Hasbro Black Series figures, so we do a Bosk, Ahsoka, Plo Koon, Hera, Darth Revan, and a Sand Trooper. And I think he scales pretty well with some other Black Series figures. I believe he is supposed to be a little bit taller, so I know some people might not be too happy about his scaling. Now let's take a look at him compared to a few other Star Wars figures, some SH figure arts, Jedis, and Siths. So we do have the Episode 3 Obi-Wan Kenobi, Yoda, the Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker, Darth Maul, and then we do have the Version 2 Return of the Jedi, Darth Vader. I think Kit Fisto scaling is pretty good with SH figure arts here. So there is the height and height comparisons. Now let's move on to the articulation and wrap this review up. So now for Kit Fisto's articulation, and he has pretty good movement. I'm guessing it's the basic Hasbro Jedi articulation here. So we do have two joints at the neck there. And with both joints, he only looks up about that much. Of course, his uh, alien tentacles or dreads are going to get in the way of that does look down pretty good though. These do restrict a little bit of that articulation. You do get pivot there, but like I said, those, those dreads or tentacles do get in the way a little bit. And then of course it does swivel there. Then we do get a waist joint here. Doesn't really go forward too much, so that's a bit disappointing. Doesn't really go back that much either. And the pivot isn't really too good. And then it does swivel there. Then the arms here, we do have that butterfly type joint, so I do like how they add that in. The arms do go out to the sides a bit more than 90 degrees. And they do go up and down. No true bicep swivel. You have to use it at the shoulder or you can use it at the single jointed elbows that do hit a little bit better than 90 degrees, so that's definitely good. Then it does swivel there. And then the wrists do swivel and hinge side to side. Same with the, uh, the, the right one, hinges side to side. Then for the legs here, Kit Fisto kicks forward about 90 degrees. Goes to the back a tiny bit. Let's see if he can Jean-Claude Van Damme it. And he cannot, but not too far away from Van Damme it. Then we do get an upper thigh swivel. We do have double jointed knees that do bend back all the way. And then the ankles here do hinge up pretty good. Hinge down really well. And then you do get the ankle uh, rocker pivot there. But anyway, that is my quick look review at the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series Kit Fisto. Hope you enjoyed it. Overall, this figure is, is pretty damn good. Like I said, for a $20 figure, I think Hasbro did a very nice job with Kit Fisto here. The detail, definitely the coolest part to the figure because Kit Fisto just has a really cool alien look. Like I said, the head sculpt, to me, I think is the coolest aspect to the figure. His Jedi vest and pants and boots and everything look pretty good too. And then for the articulation, um, it's pretty basic Hasbro articulation. I do like how they're using ball pegs more often at the neck joints and I do like that they added like a butterfly joint at the shoulder as well. They, they keep updating articulation as they go on which is definitely a plus in my book. And then the accessories. To me the biggest disappointing thing to the figure I do wish they would at least add alternate hands with these figures man or, or maybe a, another head sculpt or something. Would love if they would add a little bit more to these figures. I don't mind paying another couple bucks for another head sculpt, you know what I mean? Or, or another pair of hands. So hopefully in the future they do start adding a few more accessories with their figures. But like I said, overall it's a pretty dope figure, man. $20, $22 figure. More than happy with how it turned out. And just really happy we have a freaking 6 inch scale kit. Fisto now. But anyway, that is my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, oh well, I guess you didn't like it, but thanks for watching and we'll see you later. Stay tuned for pictures.
So as you can see here, we do of course get... Damn you! I flicked it away instead of grabbing it. Darn it. And it's a $20... And it's a $20... There. The Episode 3 Obi-Wan Kenobi, Yoda, The Return of the Jedi, Diawawa, Ahsoka, Plo Koon, Damn it, Plo Koon, ah! Bosk, Ahsoka, Plo Koon, Damn it, Koon! Ah! Keep saying Khan, damn it. Ahsoka, Plo Koon, Plo Koon, Damn it, I can't believe I did it again! <laughs> Screw you and your name, bastard. I'll get you. If it's the last thing I do, Plo Khan! Coon! <laughs>